Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So today we have a case study to look at on a project which uses layers in a clever way that I wanted to share with you. Now this project is available on the Graphisoft page, so you can go ahead and download it because it's free to study. So we are going to study it. I will go Ctrl L to look at their layer setup or go document layers and layers here. Or the same thing, you can go to options, element attributes, and layers. And what I want us to study is how cleverly they arrange their layers. So if you look at it closely, we have something going on here, which is we have category one, which includes dimensions and markers. And then we have category two, which has drawings. And you can see they have some extensions here, which explain what the drawings are about. We have fields, drafts lines presentation and so on and so forth and i think this is a clever way to sort of arrange layers and <clears throat> this video is a continuation of a video which i have done before which is an introduction to layers so if you haven't watched that one be sure to check it out because it will help you to understand the importance of layers and how you how how best to get started with it so we are going to study this case study and be able to come up with our very own and uh, as well when you look at the layer combinations we have some layer combinations here so when i enable some of these you can see some layers get switched on and off depending on the layer combination so i'm going to note down a few things that we are going to work with so let me move this to the side and uh the project that we are going to apply this on is a residential project you may have seen it before and i think that we need to be able to apply those concepts in here let's make some studies here so i'm going to pick up a sticky note um it's available for those using windows in the sticky note we want to be able to not some things so i already laid out a few things here for example i say in category one i observe that we shall have markers which include for the elevation and section and then we shall also have some dimensions in category two we have drafting aids which include the fields the polylines and so on and so forth so you can always go ahead and study this project i'll leave a link to that project in the description below such that you can be able to study it and also develop your own so we're going to sort of use this stuff that we have extrapolated from here and then we can be able to continue now, the other thing that i do think is that or if I compare the project which I have here, I have two more blocks, this block here and another block there, which are behind. So let's say that I want to add just category six to be the second block, <clears throat> block two, which is a quarters block in my, in my case. And what is in there? Of course, there are walls the uh, objects or furniture have a roof and slabs as well of course category seven is going to be another block which is block three three so that's important if you have a project which has many blocks and you want to break this stuff down so i'm going to say this one has walls of course and the slabs and the roof and of course the final thing is the furniture and in case of any other thing, we can always come in and add it in. So once you have extrapolated uh, the relevance of, of these layers onto, you, onto this side, you want to go ahead and enter those kind of layers also into Archicad. So we're going to switch to the this project here. So for that, I will press Ctrl L or use the methods that I did share before and we want to create our own kind of thing so by default we have this type this stuff but we want to do our with it because uh, it doesn't quite look good so let's select everything and delete it such that we start from scratch select everything here and delete okay so of course we need to tell Akika that all the elements should be moved within the Archicad layer please don't delete your project so make sure that you move everything 
and once you say okay everything that's in the project will be moved to the archicad layer so if i select this for example the mesh it should show me that it is on the archicad layer which is very important now we want to say ctrl l to go back and now we enter in the things that we have extrapolated from the study of the layer combinations that were there so i'll go ahead and add these things so let's add these things these these two together so for example we have markers in the first category so i would say new so i will press one and then put some spacers like we did see before now this icon is available uh after the zero number on your keyboard uh before the equal sign so when i say okay so we have category one there and then i would say is category one is called markers and specifically the marker that we're going to talk about that we need is just put in a dot and say elevations and what archicad will do is after the dot it will put the elevations in the next in the extension so again we say markers dot sections dot sections so this becomes an extension and it will be put in this other category now in order to speed up the process you might want to copy some things like this well, uh, the, the main thing which is the markers ctrl v to paste it and then you put in dot and put in the extension something like may interior elevations or if you have some interior elevations for your project and you can see that those show up there but you can also edit them from this other side i think it automatically arranging them according to alphabetical order so we want to add in a number just before those markers by saying one markers one dimensions we can say also again one dimensions and add dot uh, plan or flow plan so we have that is category one now we want to go to category two easy we just say new and then we say category two and add in the separator such that now the things that we are going to put uh, after here are in category two right so once you're done you should have a pretty decent setup like i have done right here you can see category one has some markers the category two has drafting tools category three sites and the rest as and so on and so forth with the rest of the blocks as well so once you have everything here now the next heinous task is to assign every element that you have modeled to the to a specific layer if i select this layer you can see that it's currently on archicad layer and and now you have to assign everything to that layer so for example this mesh should be on the site so i can come to site and i look at where the mesh is and that is its corresponding layer so now with it selected you can see that it's now on the site mesh layer and as well these walls they are also still on the archicad layer so we can the easiest way to select all walls is you can click on wall and then say Control a for select all and archicad will automatically select every wall that is on the project of course i used a custom profile for this stuff here so this stuff should not be in the selection so i'll go ahead and deselect that we do have walls from other blocks that are selected as well which is undesirable so before we we select this we sh we, sh we should narrow down the selection so for example using this angle i can use the mark tool to just highlight this area there such that excludes this one so now if i select wall and say ctrl a and you can see only the walls of the main house are selected so now i can go in and assign a layer to those which is going to be structure walls and those ones have been assigned or alternatively we can do that in the floor plan so going to the ground floor we make sure that we are seeing everything here go in and mark you like these walls and say that i need all walls here 
to be on the specific layer here which is for the quarter the quarter walls or the, the, for the second block and once you have assigned everything now it's time to start making some interesting stuff the fun part is to create layer combinations so we want to go ahead and bring up this thing and now we create layer combinations for, for example what if we wanted to create a layer combination that is going to work only for the main house so we say main house only okay so now it's being selected but because everything was, was turned on by default so everything is going to be shown so now we want to first select everything by clicking this icon which is for select all and we click the hide icon such that you know everything is hidden so we say okay and making sure that none has been left out so now you can see that some of these walls did not go to the to their respective so make sure that every element has been assigned a layer so i'll go ahead and name this st structure walls and these ones as well so make sure that none has not been assigned to a specific layer and now we have to do the magic by saying ctrl l and one more thing is if we select this you can see that mm, it, it is not so make sure that after selecting all and hiding everything be sure to update on this this current layer such that now it should not show anything and you can see that that's the main house selected so when we go back to the settings now we need to make sure that we show certain things on that layer so we will do that by selecting these layers from here all the way up to there and we make these ones show by saying show them and we update onto this layer combination so now when we say okay you can see only the main house is being shown but of course also some elements which we did not put on the appropriate layers so like we said before your role is to go ahead and make sure that these elements as well have been put on the correct layer combinations. and you can see that now we have something interesting here we have only the main house being shown in this kind of setup and we can create a new layer combination if we go back to the layers here we can say new and we say all in 3d so we can say let's show all on this other layer so let's select everything and turn it on turn it on and update for this layer so we say okay so now this layer should have everything in 3d which is pretty awesome and now we can switch between the two so now we have a layer which has everything on and now for the main house layer combination only all we have to do is to choose a specific spot for example i'd like to save this view i right click not not anywhere else but on this tab and say save us and say custom this time put here main house 3d and create that and that will be created then when i change i change layer combination to all in 3d and now everything should appear in 3d and change the view to something like that and then, and then i right click i save this view as well and i name it as all in 3d and once that is created you can see how easy it is 
to switch between the two which i do by going to the view map here so if i go to the new view map you can see that i can switch between the main house 3d and the all in 3d chili cool ha huh? and you can see that this one uh saves the current thing the current position of the camera and everything that we have selected and this other one also maintained the camera position and everything else now we want to to use the same for floor plans so it's the same thing now the floor plan as well is looking so terrible and messy right now and that's because everything has been turned on now if we switch between the two uh the all in 3d uh had everything turned on including everything else but if we switch to main house only you can see that that just had the main house walling and not even the the other stuff so we can start from here and say ctrl l and then we say create a new layer which we will call floor plan create a new layer combination which we are going to call floor plan and in this layer combination we want to keep the same settings as the ones that we currently have but we also want to show things in there such as the furniture so i'll go ahead and look for that and be sure to update on that floor plan and when i say okay that furniture should show up in here and pretty cool huh you can add in the dimensions the things like that so it's easy for you one by one and that's the idea yeah so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you soon